Here we are back in the daily life of Jesus after 40 days of preparation to live the 50 days of Easter. And there we have just at the end of this Easter time a mystery as glorious as is difficult to express. Mystery because it is not to demonstrate or to possess, but to contemplate and to enter into it. Difficult because most of our languages cannot express it accurately and so follow heresies. All this is to say that today we are celebrating the Sunday of the Trinity of the liturgical year A. Like any organization has its legal deposit, the Trinity is the registered trademark of Christianity. This is why it is appropriate to review today our I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe in the Holy Spirit. Are we truly aware when we pronounce these articles of the Creed as an invocation to the Trinity? Admittedly, the world is not biblical but it remains a biblical reality and the text of this Sunday shows it to us. In the first reading, it is God who presents himself once more to Moses as a merciful father. Jesus is shown as the only begotten son in the gospel and the fellowship between the two, says the second reading, is expressed in the person of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, the Trinity can be approached not only by talking about what is happening inside the Trinity, intra-Trinity, but also by approaching it in the history of salvation, the economy of salvation. God to save us deployed himself and still continue to deploy himself. Actually, God created everything with love. Man in his mission to continue creation has perverted it. The merciful God recreated out of love by sending his only begotten Son. But still, by his merciful love, he recreated it by sending his only Son. This is redemption. To continue the work, God made man aware of his assistance in the person of the Holy Spirit sent by his Son. We discover the Holy Trinity by experiencing intimately the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. How do we want to get to know the Trinity if the coming of Christ is not a grace for us? How to understand the Trinity if we refuse to accept the merciful love of the Father? How can we enter the Trinity if it's difficult for us to live in communion? Can we say that God abandoned us to continue to pervert creation by manufacturing biological and other weapons? Can we not look at the communion between the three persons of the Trinity to continue building this world without destroying each other? Happy Trinity Sunday to you all.